Hello 3D printing friends. Today is a very exciting day. I have with me a brand new in the box Bamboo Lab P1P 3D printer and the early bird pre-order welcome gift. Let's open them up and see what this cool stuff is all about. Right here in this package is exactly how the welcome gift came in. And right here is exactly how the Bamboo Lab P1P printer arrived. So here is the box. This is exactly how it came in. It showed up in really good shape. Those of you who are used to working with certain other 3D printer brands are probably accustomed to your package coming in in very poor shape with a very thin cardboard box that's beat up and makes you wonder what the condition of the printer inside actually is. This so far is not the case with my Bamboo Lab P1P printer. As you can clearly see, the box is in really good shape. It's very sturdy, very strong, and no damage whatsoever. I'm quite happy they put this gigantic red sticker that says glass fragile this side up. That big red sticker is a warning to the people that are handling your $800 plus printer that if they drop it on the floor, they're probably going to break it and they are going to be held responsible. So I thank Bamboo very much for putting this label on the box. Without further ado, let's get to opening. The first thing I'm gonna do is open the welcome gift. Now I'm not sure those of you watching that have bought this printer after the initial pre-order period, if they are still including this welcome gift or if it really was a limited time upgrade given to those who pre-ordered the printer. We will find out as time goes on if that was just a gimmick and everybody is getting this gift or not. But at the moment of this recording, this is one of the first releases of the P1P printer. And it did come with this supposed pre-order welcome gift. I'm going to pop this open. It's got Velcro, which is really nice. And you can slide it right out. It's an official box that does, in fact, say Bamboo Labs on it. It reads, Chamber Camera and LED and auxiliary parts cooling fan. So that is very exciting. We're getting a camera, an additional parts cooling fan, and an LED light. I'm super appreciative of Bamboo coming up with a kit to give us people who took a chance on this printer in the early days. However, these do sound like components that probably should come with the printer. Here is the camera which uh, looks like a Cracker Jack toy. Let's hope that it actually performs better than a Cracker Jack toy. Here is the auxiliary part cooling fan, which is considerably bigger and beefier and more complicated than I had envisioned in my head. And in this little bag, we have what appears to be an LED strip light. This is uh, incredibly cheap looking. However, those of you who do work with uh, LED strip lights like this know that they pack a very powerful punch in a very small package. So we will withhold judgment until we plug this thing in. Either way, I am thankful for Bamboo to deem us worthy to give us this camera, this fan, and this light. They do appear that they will improve the user experience for this printer. And I do kind of feel as if it's something that should be included for everybody in the future. One interesting thing to note about the bamboo gift pack is that it did not come with any instructions whatsoever. I assume there's a PDF or a video somewhere online. Perhaps the instructions are in the stock box for the P1P printer. Perhaps it'll be super obvious how to install it. I don't know. But I do find that a little odd. For now, let's put these aside and have a look at the actual printer as it comes in the box. For those of you who have been paying attention, it does advertise 15 minutes from box to print. I'm not about to go ahead and start a timer, but let's find out just how accurate that is by unboxing this and setting it up. All right, first thing I see is some very firm air cushion. The foam was form fitting, which is really nice. Helps keep the printer in place and stop it from banging side to side in the box. Even though the box says this side up, we're going to pull it out sideways so you guys can see it. The plastic is actually taped to the top of the box. That's kind of interesting. We're going to grab it 
and just give it a little slide. The box weighs a ton. The cardboard's of really good quality. And so is all this packing material. This is really good stuff. Go ahead and stand it up because that's how bamboo wants it to be and that's how we're going to do it. You'll notice there's additional cardboard and a plastic baggie around it. They are not messing around with this thing. Be very careful when you open the plastic. You're going to notice on this top piece of cardboard, they have taped a quick start guide. So go ahead and peel that off and stick it to your table so you don't lose it and we can refer to it later. One thing you're gonna see as you unpack this printer box is that it's getting smaller and smaller. There's more form-fitted foam on the top. You just pull that out and inside is another box of parts. I do find it an odd choice that they chose to pack this box of parts inside the printer sitting on top of the printer bed. However, you'll notice there's even more high quality foam on top of the printer bed as well. And it surrounds the various components of the printer. We will now go ahead and remove the final piece of plastic packaging. Interesting to note, they even put a little dry pack in there for moisture. So we're gonna go ahead and get those off. To get this first one off, just simply stick your finger in the hole and pull it up. Then grab a pair of snippers and snip off the zip ties. Be careful not to snip off your belts. Grab the printhead, slowly and gently pull it forward. You can even move it over to the side if you need and remove the cardboard. Under the cardboard, there's a little green sticker. You can peel that off as well, revealing the beautiful Bamboo Labs hot end. All right, now that the printer's out of the box, we've taken some of the preliminary packaging off. We're gonna open up the accessory box that was inside your printer and take those components out because we're going to be needing them now. Here is the sample spool of filament. It is a full size roll of filament. Disclaimer and safety guide, a Bowden tube, your tiny little P1P screen. The packaging for this box is an absolute nightmare, so we'll get that out of the way. And we're going to lift out this collection of components. Now that all these are out, we can continue building. The first thing you need is this tiny little spool holder. The spool holder has two sides. One that looks like this, and one that looks like this. One that looks like this is the front. One that looks like this attaches to your printer. Inside your kit, you're gonna see a little bag. You're gonna pull it out, and it's going to say for spool holder. You might have guessed it. These are the screws for your spool holder. Also on your tool kit, you're gonna find these little wrenches. Take them off and use the bigger of the two for the spool holder. Before installing the spool holder, you may be surprised to see there is already a screw in place. You are going to use this tool to remove that screw. Take your screw, stick it in the spool holder, take the spool holder, place your thumb over the other screw, and line it up. Turn this one into place, and then turn the other one into place. Now neither of your screws will fall off while you tighten them. In case you're wondering which side is up, do notice the spool holder says top on it. Next up, you're gonna pull this little bag out of your kit. It says PTF tube anchor. The PTF tube anchor looks like this, and it comes with two screws that look like this. If you point your eyes right there to this corner of the machine, you'll see two screw holes close together, and that's where this guide goes. 
We are going to position it like this using these two screws. You're going to place the first one in the far left hole and just screw it in by hand. You're going to take the second one and put it in the right hole and just screw that in by hand. Now that they're screwed in by hand, you can take your tool, the same one we just used before, and tighten them up. Keeping in mind, the screw to the right will not fully tighten, nor will the screw to the left, because this piece needs to rock like this. Now that it's in place, reach into your machine and grab your Bowden tube. Make sure it's not twisted up on this hose in any way. Make sure it's nice and clear. And simply take this side of the tube and push it into the coupler. You will feel it grab. And now your Bowden tube is in. Now you can turn your machine around again and grab the other side of your Bowden tube and slide it down into your hot end. You may feel like nothing happened, but there is a coupler down there and you will feel that it grabbed. Bamboo's official material does state that we should slide these black tube clips so that the black wire is underneath the Bowden tube. Next up is to unlock the print bed. That's right, your print bed is shipped locked. These three screws are identified by red arrows and we need to take them off. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove the tape from the memory card slot and remove the tape from the screen harness. Be very gentle not to actually rip the harness. You'll remember earlier we took the screen out of the box, so here it is. And we're going to look right in the back for that port right there. And it's only going to plug in one way. Look at the clip. You'll see a big slot with a small slot on top. The small slot is where the clip part goes. The big slot is where the big part goes. Just take it and gently nudge it into place. You'll hear a gentle click and it's good to go. Sorry, I couldn't show you any better than that. It's a pretty tight space. When you're done, simply flip the screen over, fold up the wire into the free space, and clip it in place by pushing it on and pulling left. Congratulations, your printer now has a brain. There's a little screen protector on here. You can go ahead and remove that. Now it's time to put the filament on, turn the printer on and raise the bed so we can remove the final pieces of foam packaging. Spin the printer to the side so you can see it. There's a piece of tape on the filament spool we're going to peel that off and just place the filament spool on the spool holder. You're then going to take the filament and feed it from the bottom up the Bowden tube into the hot end. You'll feel it stop and you're all set. These are all the steps to building the printer with the components that it came with, not including any upgrades or the pre-order bonus gifts. Now is the time to plug it in, turn it on, and complete the self-test, which will raise the bed and enable us to remove these final pieces of packing foam. The plug simply goes in the back like any other 3D printer. Press the big red button and turn it on. The printer would like us to know that we have read the user manual. Here we're going to press OK. Before use, please make sure that you remove the screws fixed to the hotbed area. We did that. We're going to press next again. We'll choose our region, mine is North America. And if you have your cell phone handy, you can scan that QR code with your phone. And it will bring up the Bamboo Labs app, which you can download from the App Store. 
Yay, there it goes. We are now going to go ahead and say set up later and press the OK button. Agree to the terms of services. We are going to choose skip. And now we are going to select self-test. Start. Self-test will raise the bed and allow you to remove the phone. Self-test complete. Your printer is working normally. Enjoy printing. Smiley face. Finish. So there it is. We have successfully unboxed, built, and tested our brand new Bamboo Labs P1P 3D printer. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor at 3drundown.com. And building this Bamboo Labs P1P 3D printer was today's adventure.